Yeah, this is a pretty clear mulligan. Uh, not even close. Uh, this looks pretty good, though. Actually, this hand's kind of the nut. Uh, <laughs> yeah. One, two, three. Just need to hit a single land. Well, let's start. Pretty sure. Yeah, playing this was definitely correct. Um, well, I can't block. So I guess I'm attacking. Let's see here. Where am I at? Uh, I'm just going to brain maggot him, and then I have to race a sun guide, which seems reasonable if I can stunt him on some kind of curve. Uh, no need to play the island here, actually. Rather keep him guessing on what tricks I could have. So he has 2-2, two, 1-3. Two, oh, he has 1-3? That sucks for us. Uh, bestow guy. Mastiff. So I'm not going to cut him on... A drop next turn. So I think I actually want to take the Mastiff here. I think that's his best card. The, I don't think... So, this is playing for an even longer game. He only has one more land. He has to draw another land to bestow this. Like It is going to happen eventually, but... I guess the other option is I could take the Battle Priest and allow myself to keep attacking with the Scarhide, but I think the Mastiff is just a scarier creature in general. Plus, if I force him to play the Battle Priest next turn, he's not attacking with whatever he plays for a significant amount of damage on the next turn. Away. And hopefully Siren's good enough to take it home from here. So I know he has a Bestow Guy. Yeah, I'm just taking this hit. And a 1-3 and an unknown card. Back to my previous concept. Not blocking, so I guess I'm attacking. I'll play the Chosen. Play an island and represent uh, Dissolve instead of anything else. Or Nullify too, I guess. Make him actually think about what he's doing. Okay. So if he wants to bestow, you can bestow. I'm literally just going to block whatever he puts it on. This cards are doing some good work. <clears throat> I think I actually just don't block here. <laughs> as weird as it sounds okay that's fine I mean, he does have to discard <laughs> um, attack with those two Play the Harpy. Presumably he sacrifices a 2 2. Yeah, that's what I thought. 
and now he's in a really awkward position where deal <laughs> guy basically nullifies him anyway so yeah jeez okie dokie uh, guess we have to beat that guy not really anymore That was a pretty good draw. I thought he sold the all seed. I didn't realize that that was the card he milled. It was the planes. I'll take my one. I will gladly trade for this guy, though. Yep, yet another one. Siren of the Silence Long takes home. Guy is really powerful. Uh, let's do this right. So I cannot misclick. Top, bottom. Mm -hmm. Um, what do I bestow onto? He's at nine. If I bestow here, he trades here. Yeah, I like that a lot. That's, yeah, I think the Sirens outlived its usefulness. Good. Okay. Well, that was simple. So he has some real nice ones. Namely the Charioteer. Um, I didn't see anything that I really wanted to eye gouge. Don't think Aspect is that good. I do want this card, though, and I think I want this card. Because it looks like he's got some pretty solid blocks going on. Um, what don't I want? This card's probably fine. Nah, I actually just want all these cards. I think this is just a case where these cards are like marginally good cyborg cards and my other options are just better. <clears throat> I'm not going to complain. Okay, I might complain if I draw two more lands, but that's acceptable. I will no longer have any complaints. <laughs> that guy is real dumb. Man. What a jerk. Oh well. Sea God's Revenge will resolve before that uh, actually kills me. Don't be charioteers. That was Cherry Tears. That's a problem. Yep, still no blocks. I do like that he hasn't been able to bestow onto that guy. It does give me a little bit of hope here. That's a pretty important draw, actually. Let's me get somewhere after I see God's him. Yeah, he's been chosen. Take my beats. Uh, 
you, you, you. I don't need that one. So when he untaps, I can either give himself this um, Intimidate, or I can... I think I want to give... That gets in one more attack with the Siren, though, and that's it. Uh, does that actually get me somewhere? Gets him one card less in his hand. Okay. I guess I'm just going to give the Siren... Uh... Oh, no. I'll just give the War Chanter for now. Because if I ever want to give the Siren uh, evasion, I can do that for a turn. Or I can just draw very well. Do I even want to read the bones here? Uh, I know his hand has 2-2 uh, and the 2-4 flyer. I have a feeling I do want to read the bones. I... Mm. Yeah, we'll see what happens. It does open up some lines where I die, but... Uh, those are both very good. I think I want the Shrike Harpy next turn, though. No, do I? The Harpy's a 2 2 flyer. He's just going to sack one of those bad guys that's in play. So I think I just want the infusion next turn in case I need to kill something. Oh! Wait. What am I thinking? I get them both anyways. And I did want them both because they were both spells at this point. I was thinking I was like scrying two off the Horizon Scholar or something really weird. Okay. Okay. Uh, himself again. Promo Craxis, eh? So... Let's strike Harpy and see what he does. So he's going to sack something, presumably this one too. I'm going to infusion the guy that he was leaning on in order to tap my guys for lethal. And we'll attack. He's going to play charioteers here, which I'm okay with. I think I can beat that. Do you think it involves... Yeah, I have to keep giving my War Chanter evasive. Yeah, there we go. Oh boy, that's uh, probably does not mean that it's good times for us if he's discarding Oracles in sight. Because I think you discard and then you put the card in the graveyard. Yep. Um, I do not want either of those. Well, I'll just keep bringing the beats with this guy. Um, I like that. 
Uh, that's kind of awkward. Um, what do I bestow on here? So this is kind of interesting. This implies that... <sighs> so eventually I am able to bestow onto his creature and kill him with it, but I think... I'm just going to attack with the War Chanter here. I could bestow on the Shrike Harpy attack and then lose my Shrike Harpy to any combat trick. This is probably a Divine Verdict. So I think... So what is my safest option? His last card's a combat trick. I get blown out by that. But I think at this point, that's fine. If I put it on the Phalanx, I give him too many turns. I know nothing about his hand. Uh-oh. That guy's very dead. <laughs> uh, so... Well, I'm going to take this hit. And I believe I'm now dead on his next attack. Okay, he got me. I guess Quarry Colossus is a giant. Oh, this is Cyclops, it's not giants. What am I thinking? Um, maybe I do want Grizzly Transform. Eh, I think I'm okay without it. Yeah. would like to play first. Yeah, this is sweet. I have my best card, right? Um, yeah, let's play the Eidolon. Okay. That's fine, I guess. I figured I'd play the idol on and play the guy that can't block or can't attack. Well, I guess my opponent is now in a position where that guy's probably not attacking next turn. here. I actually don't mind getting aggressive here because I have the hour of need so it gets real good for me. And the lash. I also like casting this guy because if I ever need to rebuy for value I can use the cavalry trigger with the Nimbus Nyad. Actually, actually a pretty good trade for me there. Okay. Um. Yeah, let's just get in there for one. I do you like this guy's style? Spring Leaf Drum into our seven drops? Which is probably. Oh, good. He doesn't have a seven drop. That guy needs to die. Okay, that's fine. I do need to fade a Tromocraxis. 
probably need to fade a Quarry Colossus too. I don't think I can beat that guy. It looks like our opponent is slightly flooded. Extremely flooded, somewhere in the middle. Uh, let's get in with these guys. Declare attackers does that. Um, I could just hour of need and make two four fours here, which sounds pretty sweet. I don't want to return enchantments to their owner's hand. Yeah, and then the rest of the game he just has to beat a 4-4 flyer every turn. Uh no. I'd rather have some sphinxes. That's some good token art. No Traumacraxis. Okay. Oh, so this is the guy to our left, presumably. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, nope, 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 nope. That's not fine. That's obnoxious. <laughs> Cute trick. I'll have to save that for later. Um... I actually like this line. Just start pushing in the damage. Uh, no, I should strike Harpy before he gets to a point where he has something to sacrifice. Give him another turn to rip 7-drop. Especially because I can beat a Troma Craxis. Ah, Moral Obstinacy. That's fine. Um... I asphyxiate it. I can't play the Naiad, though. If he has one card, I think I just shove. And then lash his guy when he blocks. Yeah, and now I have lethal on board, because I get to bestow. Yeah. Okay. Well, I was going to bestow. Actually, I would have bestowed this guy, because it's less of a loss if I get to keep the Naiad. Okay. Well, good thing I didn't make that play. That would have been real bad. Um, yeah, our opponent's deck did not look super exciting, to be 100% honest. 